Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Michelle and you're watching Mighty Dubia Feeders. <laughs> excited to share this video for you today. Some of you guys have been really waiting. You're like, hmm, do oranges really make dubia roaches more prolific? So hey, let's get into the video. But before we do, I just want to say this is a series. And so we've done this experiment over several months. Um, so December will be our last month. We are in November. We're in Thanksgiving week. So this video is going to be short and sweet. If you want more details on how we're running this experiment and the experiments yet to come after in the beginning of the year, I think we're going to do heating next and we're going to see different kinds of heating methods and see what works and we're going to have a control one and you know we're going to have one that has a certain parameters of the Dubia community saying, hey, you need this much heat, this degrees. We're going to figure it all out, guys. We're just doing this so that you guys can be uh, helped and that we can figure out, hey, are these myths or are they actually true? So this one, we're going to continue on the oranges. We're going to have uh, to see who's triumphant here. Is it my blue bin with, that have been getting the oranges or is it my breeders and the gray bin that have been getting everything the same except no oranges? So let's go ahead and get started. Here's the office, the Dubia office. And so I'm going to get ready to what I'm going to do, this is the blue bin that's had the oranges. I'm going to go ahead and do this on each of these bins. I'm going to pop them in here, shake them off. I'm going to have, go ahead and clean all these and give them fresh ones as well. And then we're going to do the baby counting at the end on all of these, as you can see. If you want to zoom in over here, Julian, um, you can see a lot of babies on, on this one here. And so I'm also going to be every week or so, I go ahead and I search because, you know, these are mixed with different kinds of breeders. As what I mean by that is some are freshly malted because we have all these over here bins that we pull freshly malted ones. And so if we see any that happen to die because some of them are older breeders per se, what we do is we look very often in each bin and we pull them out and we replace them. So that way over the month, they're always staying equal. So I'll be doing that and we'll be doing some new fresh dubia um, in here most likely. And we'll go ahead and get this done and we'll see how many babies are in each one. So let's do it. guys <clears throat> I have went ahead and cleaned out this gray tub I have moved an equal weight ratio of male to females in here I'm gonna have a total of around 250 in each bin and so I've given them some fresh uh, some fresh egg carts egg crates and this is the harvest from this bin this bin did not have any oranges, and this is what they gave me this month. And I will go ahead and count these all up, weigh them actually at the end of this video. But you can see there's some new newborns in there that are white. So they are, to me, so cute. Look how cute they are. And they're just, I never thought I would say that roaches are cute, but I do think that they are little baby roaches so cute but yeah they're they just freshly uh, live birth and so they're that light white color okay guys this is the blue bend and I'm gonna get to sorting these guys make sure the ratio is good it's a little bit cold outside so they're a little sluggish right now you can kind of tell they're all piling on each other they're like we're cold let's 
let's huddle. All right, so let me get to sorting with my ratio and then we'll weigh the babies after. mightydubiafeeders.com. We sell and breed. We are breeders and we breed dubia roaches. We're going to be, um, well soon, discoids are taking a little bit longer, but we'll probably be ready for discoids selling them in the near future. But we also have millworms and superworms for all your pets, all of your reptiles, amphibians, and insectivores, and chickens, and things like that. We ship nationwide, and we are at MightyDubiaFeeders.com. You can also find us on Instagram. And so make sure you like this video so it boosts us in the algorithm because we are a very small channel, and we're trying to get out there to give education to the world, the masses. And also subscribe so that you get all of our fun notifications because on this channel, we don't just do like feeder stuff. We do a lot. We do have a playlist of dubia roaches. So you can go find that if you want to learn more about how you breed dubia roaches. And you can also purchase dubia colony starter kits from us as well. And we have some available on our website right now. So make sure you go over there and grab some if you want to do that and support our small family business. However, we do fun things like reptile shows, um, I have one video that I'm doing pretty soon um, of our, we just got a banana pectinata goby. So he is a spiny tail black iguana and he's a few months old. And so I still have to do his video when we went and got him from a, a breeder, Carl, and um, show some of the things that are the footage from that reptile show. We're also in December going to go to another reptile show fingers crossed, and an aquarium show because I love fish and I love like tropical fish and all of that. So I'm going to show that on my channel, on our channel. And we're also going to show just different kinds of stuff. We show stuff on millworms. We do all kinds of stuff on this channel. Also pinky, we highlight pinky, which is our uh, pink toed black tarantula. And pretty soon I need to clean out his enclosure and I'm going to be a little nervous. Maybe I'll try to hold him. <laughs> For the first time, him or her, I don't even know what it is yet, but we need to clean out um, the enclosure. So hey, if you like things like that, we're not just a dubia channel, we do other things here. Make sure you check out some of our playlists, but let's get going and let's see the result of this month of November with one last month left for three months total. All right, let's go. Guys, here we go. Um, November's harvest of these dubia bin experiment. This one right here is the blue. We're going to weigh these out in just a second in grams. Don't mind my dog barking in the background, sorry about that. And this is the gray, this is the one that did not have the oranges. So we will see which one is, we're gonna start with, let's start with the gray. So I'm gonna have it zeroed out, I'm gonna be doing it on grams. So I'll get my helper to help me. Just make sure you just get them all in there, Ava. Get it. We'll get a gram count here and we'll see how much, is that all of them? Okay. So we got 47 grams for the gray one. Okay. Okay, now it's the 
blue turn. There's one up here. Little scragglers. All right, so the, that one was 47 and the blue is 66 grams. So, wow. Okay, so the other one's 47 and this is 67. So it looks like the oranges. So this has been the second month. So next month in December, we'll do one more harvest video. But so far, the blue bin is winning with the oranges. So isn't that interesting? Maybe this myth is true. But we'll do one more for a total of three months. And this is 47 grams without. And this is 60, how much did I say? 66, 67? I think 66. it was, I think it was 66 or 67. So obviously this one won. Okay guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Bye.